such a really shitty job let me find out where i'm going exactly i know i'm going to british columbia which is a province in canada i'm going away on a it's kind of a staycation so i'll be gone for almost a week five days i believe tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday i'll be gone for five days and before like we'll stop in like louise and things like that before we get to our final destination it's going to be at a cabin in belmont which is close to jasper but i'm really excited to go hi guys so future me editing the vlog so the whole time i was saying i was going to belmont but i was going to where i was going it's called tet jean cap so that's where I'm actually going to it's close to Belmont um, but it's just like this little 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 town called Tejo Cash all right let's get back into the vlog it looks really lovely it's like this cute little cabin but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this vlog also into two parts because it's going to be a whole lot of footage so I'm gonna split it into two parts so part one will be like this right here actually just watch just watch and see but yeah I just finished packing for the trip it's Monday we head out tomorrow which is Tuesday but we still got a couple things to do kind of like go to the grocery stores because we're staying in the cabin we're gonna be making our own food and things like that so it's not like we can go out to go get food but yeah I'm gonna be bringing you guys along my trip I'm really excited I can't wait to just like get away and I mean especially right now since we can't like travel or leave the country um, this just works like this is the next the next best thing is just to travel in your own country in Canada and Canada's like it's a pretty pretty big country like I still have not explored like I probably haven't explored like 5% of what this country has to offer so I'm really really excited I'm about to start packing stuff in my car um, this morning I woke up I made some jollof rice and some jerk chicken so those turned out really really well so I'm so excited just because I wanted to have some jollof rice so I made it right now and then that way it's just ready to go when I'm like on vacation and I want some food and things like that we have to pick up some supplies for dinner um, and things like that like salad so yeah you guys will you guys you guys will come along and I'll show you guys what we're picking up for the trip well first of all I'm gonna go finish making my coffee then we'll pack the car and we'll go we'll go to the grocery store so look at that look at that jerk chicken that looks flipping delicious I got my jerk sauce from my mom's restaurant which is Yenny Delights if you're in Calgary be sure to visit it and then I'm sorry if you can hear any noise that's just my dishwasher that's going and then I have some jollof rice on here I'll put the recipe to the jollof rice I followed down below and you guys can follow that along if you want to make your own jollof rice it is 32 degrees out here and I'm not mad about it honestly I'm not one of those people that's like oh my god it's so flippin' hot like I'm not complaining I'm cool with it it's okay I might get a little sweaty good thing I didn't put makeup on but it's cool all right let's go it's 10 actually it's not one it's 1245 got all the groceries in the back seat I feel like I didn't show you guys what I got from Superstore but there is lots in here 
Hey guys, it is now the next day. Um, I just finished getting ready for the day. It's currently 11.22. Yeah, it's 11.22 right now. We still have like a couple things to do, kind of like put stuff in the car. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I wanna go have breakfast. Um, and then I also have to kind of record a video as well for YouTube before we leave, so. There's a lot of like moving parts going on today, but I'm so excited. I just finished getting ready. It's gonna be really hot today. So I just literally just have on this bandeau and some shorts. And I think I'm gonna throw on like a sweater thing on top of me, we'll see. But yeah, this is the fit for today. So I love this hair on me. Can I just say like, I've been loving this hair lately. Like I just feel so like, I feel different like I feel like you can't talk to me no ways maybe it's because I got my nails done too so I'm like you can't talk to me anyhow <laughs> I still have a lot to do like I have to take all of this stuff and put it in my bag yeah there's a lot that needs to be done can we just appreciate my nails if it focuses I got the different colors I am now about to start packing up the cooler I have this massive cooler over here that I'm gonna be packing up because we're not headed to our final destination on the first day so we don't want like any of our food to go bad or anything like that I'm on the duty of packing up all the frozen food so I'm quickly gonna get that done <laughs> Right now, we have everything in the back seat. It's like literally so, I'll show you guys. Literally so full to the brim, but I have a lot of stuff because I, I just, I like to overpack, I can't lie. And then we have all our food and stuff. And like, the back seat doesn't have that much space because it's a truck. And by the time we come back, like, it will be less. We'll bring less with us because we would have eaten less or eating more. Um, so yeah that's what's going on and also you guys should if you'd like to like follow up real time with me follow your girl on instagram i'd be posting on there you know a little snippet of what's been going on a little you know and it's a little bit more real time um if you guys want to follow more along so follow me it's just tolu i did put you on instagram you look stressed also i haven't had breakfast yet just because i got tired and lazy that's the garage door. I got tired and lazy of, well, I got lazy to cook myself breakfast. So I said I wouldn't be eating out and. Looks like we're eating out. Looks like I am. Should we, or should we just do like a lunch meal? Cause I feel like it's close to lunch for you. Pretty much. What do you want to, what are we doing for lunch? The problem is I'd rather eat on the road. Right. But you need to eat. And the, but then we won't be on the same wavelength because oh, I could always just eat though. I could take, yeah. I was going to say then you're at lunch. I'm at breakfast still. But I could always just get, get it to go and eat it at the hotel. Mm -hmm. So then today's just going to be like a lunch slash dinner for me. Sure. That's okay for me. It's so nice out, guys. Where else are we going now? Community? <coughs> We're going to get me... <laughs> Classy. We're gonna get me some tea because I'm one of those people that like when I go away, I can't poop a little bit TMI, but like it just and I end up being so uncomfortable and constipated and so we're gonna get me some tea before we leave to help me shite. So <laughs> classy. Yeah. Bougie ratchet. I decided like we should go for sushi before we leave and also because it's like close to two so there's no point in me getting breakfast food so we're just gonna have a little nice sushi we're going to key charcoal i think i've talked about it on my channel before it's just like a sushi restaurant in calgary one of your Vlogs. videos yeah yeah it was so yeah we're gonna go do that and then that's what good boyfriends do they watch your stuff i know they do they support you ew, ew. <laughs> my waist is cutie hey my waist is cutie my waist is cutie if you know where this is from like this video if you know where this is from like Just this even video if you don't find out but still like the video but still like the video hey tell them babe tell them babe okay all right um let's go eat some sushi We 
getting this so I have decent bowel movements. <laughs> uh, we're now on our way to, where are we gonna head first, bath? We are in Canmore now. We are going to get me coffee. I'm sorry if it looks dark in here. I'm gonna take it off, but I wanted to show you guys my new mask. I like it. It's actually breathable too, which is really nice. Walking around the city, it's so nice. I didn't know this, but close to 18,000 people roughly 13. live. 13? Is that what I said? said you have great memory. But close to 13,000 people live in Canmore. You guys didn't know. So Canmore is one of the places, like it's one of the nicest places to live in Canada and a lot of tourists come down here because of like the nice view, you're by the mountains. Yeah, but it's not cheap to leave, live here at all. Like I searched it up and on average, it costs about $700,000 to live here. So there's that. You gotta stack your coins before you come here. But look at the mountains. Beautiful to live here. I don't know if I would want to live here myself. Would you? You would want to live in Canmore, hey? Yeah, I don't think I would either. I feel like I just get so bored and seeing tourists all the time. Something else that I found out about Canmore was it was named after a Scottish king, Malcolm III. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, um, that was really cool. I didn't know that's where it got its name from and it also translates to Big Chief. So that's also really interesting. We just stopped by Cadmore like really quickly, grabbed a coffee as you guys saw and now we are going to head to, to Lake Louise now. Um, just because it's getting a little later, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Oh yeah, so we're gonna get there so we can check in, because check-in was at what time? Four. Yeah, so let's go get our money's worth, right babe? Wow. 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 <laughs> To the lake the hotel that we're going to be staying i'll give you guys like a whole room tour so don't worry i got you i'm not driving at all <laughs> which is kind of nice because honestly i don't like driving when on like long trips but that's not the reason why the reason why i'm not driving is because the car is standard and i can't drive stick shift i can only drive automatic so there's that but i've also been editing like um a vlog that's gonna be it's kind of like a workout video um, and then kind of like me keeping myself accountable with like my health and my fitness and working out and stuff because I haven't really had a goal for 2020 so I'm editing that video should be up before this one you guys should definitely go check it out I have so many fun vlogs coming out for you guys a wedding vlog coming out I attended two weddings in one day um, in a pandemic so that was interesting having to wear a mask but yeah So now we are in the hotel. Um, when you walk in, you got the bathroom and stuff. Um, what is this called? Lake Louise Inn? Mm -hmm. Here and things like that. Over here. Uh, so we got a king size bed over there. TV and whatever, which I probably will not watch. We have this like workstation, which I'll probably edit here. We're only here for like one night, so yeah. And then we have like this couch over here. The view's beautiful. Like, so nice you can see the mountains and stuff which is really beautiful you're going for dinner right now at the hotel that we're staying at the hotel is lake louise inn i don't even know if i mentioned that yet but that's where we're having dinner that's what's going on right now i'm hoping dinner's good I have to go anywhere which is nice we just have to walk to the restaurant in the hotel but it looks like we're going there because I just took photos. So I think I'm going to do the naked grape mall back and then just looking at the food menu here. Um, I'm not really sure. We're gonna do calamari. Yeah. Um, and then for like an actual meal, I haven't decided yet. now leaving the hotel. 
hotel, I mean restaurant, and I think it's like nine, right? So I think it's gonna be lights out for the rest of the night. Um, we're just gonna chill and relax. We'll check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. Catch me in room 1311. So it's now the next day. Um, it is about 11 01 111. Um, <laughs> if you know, you know. Are leaving the hotel. You know, what do you think about the hotel? What is mm. Well, it was bad. Like, it wasn't like it was extravagant. At least the bed was decent, but it was loud. Yeah, the bed was okay, but it was just so loud. I kept waking up. I woke up at like 2, and then at 4, and then at 5, and then at 6. Like, I kept waking up, but it was really, really, really loud. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the cabin to just like relax and sit and just chill, which would be part two of this vlog. So, I think, I think I'm gonna end it here and then start the second vlog for you guys because I feel like this one is already gonna be so, so long. And I know y'all are not, are not about to watch like 30 minutes straight of me vlogging, not yet at least. So um, I'm just gonna end it here and then I'll pick up the second vlog after. Um, yeah, so if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I want you to comment down below if you've been to like Alberta because I know a lot of people the only place they really know about is like um, what you call it Toronto or like Ontario like Alberta doesn't really get talked about um, <laughs> that much so or the only place here that gets talked about is Banff really Mostly, yeah. yeah I will see you in part two be sure to stay tuned for that